You're watching ABC 7 News at 4, starting with First Alert Weather. Good afternoon, I'm Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Thanks for joining us for this first broadcast of ABC 7 News at 4. We're going to be here for you and bringing you the weather at the top of the hour each and every day, Monday through Friday. Let's get to the maps and show you what's happening right now. We have some big storms, but they're not around everywhere. We have one that blew up right there near Venice and Tacoma, generated quite a bit of lightning. Now it's gone. What's happened is some dry air has filtered into the upper levels of the atmosphere, which means these storms will be limited for one. Two, they won't stick around all that long. As a result of that drier air, we have another area of showers that developed near State Road 70 and I-75 earlier, and now that has pushed toward Bradenton and State Road 64. And then another one popping up just south of Parrish. That's what we're going to see through the next couple of hours. Should not be all that uh, concerning as far as any heavy rainfall sticking around for a long period of time. But lightning not out of the question with some of these cells as we saw it down there near Venice and also uh, just to the west of Northport. You can see some heavier activity down to our south. Here's the forecast. We'll take you through time and show you that uh, we are expecting uh, most of the rain to be over after 9 o'clock and then we'll see generally partly cloudy skies overnight uh, with some lingering storms maybe to the north of us but not much going on here at all. Uh, another day tomorrow maybe a few more storms around but it's going to be relatively dry considering uh, what time of year we're in. We'll have much more on your 4th of July forecast as well. Now here's Scott and Jacqueline. Bob, thank you so much. Welcome to ABC 7 News at 4. We are starting this new newscast to keep you better informed about what's happening across the Sun Coast. And for those of you who want to watch Sun Coast View, you can still catch it right here on ABC 7 every morning at 9 o'clock. We begin with new developments in the Cleveland terror arrest. We are learning more about the suspect and his possible motives. Investigators say they arrested Demetrius Pitts after he told an undercover agent about his plans. Pitts reportedly wanted to work with Al-Qaeda to pack a van of explosives and attack the city's 4th of July parade. According to the undercover agent, Pitt picked the 4th of July because, quote, it would hit them in their core. Pitts has been charged with attempting to provide material support to a foreign terrorist organization. The FBI says Pitts has an extensive criminal history, including charges of assault, aggravated robbery, and a concealed carry, carrying a concealed weapon. Now, local law enforcement will be ready at the for the July 4th celebrations right here on the Sun Coast. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick is live along the Bayfront today with a look at how officers plan to keep you safe. Jess. Jacqueline Scott, there are fireworks shows happening all across the Sun Coast this week, from the Riverwalk in Bradenton to right here on the Sarasota Bayfront. Officers will be in uniform, undercover, and on horseback patrolling these large crowd events. There will be special operation patrols and hazardous device units on standby, ready to respond in the blink of an eye if anything were to happen. Deputies and officers will be on the ground directing traffic, watching for suspicious individuals, and just ensuring there aren't any issues. Now, safety is paramount for all law enforcement agencies on the Sun Coast. They want to make sure you have a fun, but yet also a safe holiday. They say you play an important role in making sure that everyone is safe. I'll explain what that means coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Sarasota, Jess Dowdrick, ABC 7, your Sun Coast News. All right, Jess, thank you so much. And as you get ready to celebrate the 4th of July, there are some rules you need to keep in mind before setting off any fireworks. Every year, firefighters respond to more than 100 uh, incidents related to the improper use of fireworks here on the Sun Coast. State law limits sales to relatively safe fireworks like sparklers and fountains, but certain fireworks are banned, including bottle rockets, Roman candles, and other airborne fireworks. If you would just rather leave it to the professionals, there are a lot of fireworks displays planned for the Sun Coast. For a full list, we invite you to visit our website, mysuncoast.com. Demo Day is finally here. Demolition now underway on a century-old pier on Anna Maria Island. Nearly 10 months after Hurricane Irma, crews are now dismantling the storm-damaged Anna Maria Island Pier. A new bait shop and restaurant will eventually be built to replace the existing buildings at the end of the pier. Construction for both will begin next April and the entire pier expected to be complete and open to the public again in December of 2019. Jacqueline joins us now with a look at the top headlines from around the world. Jacqueline. 
Thanks, Scott. President Trump's longtime personal attorney Michael Cohen is breaking his silence. His comments are a strong signal that Cohen may be willing to strike a deal with federal prosecutors. In April, the FBI raided Cohen's home and office, seizing a host of documents. President Trump lashed out, calling it a, quote, total witch hunt and an attack on our country. The Justice Department said Cohen had been under criminal investigation for months because of his business dealings. You don't do this interview and say these things unless you're looking for a possible deal uh, with the Southern District of New York. In an interview with ABC News, he was asked what he would do if it comes to protecting the president or his family. Cohen said his family is his, quote, first priority. He also added when he learns what charges may be filed against him, he will lean on the guidance of his new counsel. New developments this afternoon in a desperate rescue mission in Thailand. A soccer coach and his 12 players who have been trapped in a flooded cave for more than a week have been found alive. The boys ages 11 to 16 and their 25 year old coach disappeared last Saturday. The governor says crews plan to drain all of the water from the cave and then remove the team. In the meantime, a nurse and doctor are making their way into the cave to check out the team's health and their movement. Oh, hey, New details this afternoon about the Americans who were hurt in this tourist boat explosion in the Bahamas. At least one American tourist is dead and 10 others injured after an engine exploded on Saturday. Stephanie Schaefer, a 22 year old dancer from Vermont, suffered a double amputation and she is now in a medically induced coma. Four Americans were airlifted to a hospital in Florida. The others were treated locally. Nine people, including six children, are in the hospital today after a California man went on a stabbing spree through a Boise apartment complex. Timmy Kinner is facing nine counts of aggravated battery and six counts of injury to a child. Police say he went on a stabbing rampage on Saturday night at a home of many re resettled refugee families. 11-year-old Fathi and 12-year-old Esram were playing outside with their friends when they noticed that man approach. We saw, we, we saw, saw him saying like bad words and we're killing our yeah. and stabbing our friends. And stabbing a kid. Four of the victims have life threatening injuries. Police are still trying to figure out the motive. Well, let's send it back to Scott now for a terrifying moment that was caught on camera. Scott. Yeah, Jacqueline, this terrifying moment involves a shark. Here's the video from Australia. Melissa Brunning was standing on the back of a boat feeding fish to a group of tawny nurse sharks when one bit her finger. Her finger was still intact, but the bite left her with a fractured bone and torn ligament. The message is don't feed the sharks. It's safer and less painful to just admire them from inside a boat. Now to a brazen prison break. Right now, a manhunt is underway for a notorious French gangster who was flown out of prison. Three armed commandos hijacked a helicopter using guns to force the pilot to fly the chopper into the prison's courtyard. The getaway copter was later found burned and abandoned, launching a massive manhunt. This is the convict's second prison escape. Back in 2013, he escaped after spending less than half an hour behind bars, blowing up doors with dynamite while using four guards as human shields. More to come on ABC 7's News at 4. Figuring out the budget isn't just a walk in the park. The valuable green space at Sarasota County can't afford to take care of anymore. And going underground to stay out of the dangerous heat. The extraordinary lengths by some people to stay cool this summer. Plus, LeBron James going Hollywood. We'll check Facebook to see what our viewers are saying about the superstar's move. My name is Julius. I have cerebral palsy. I work for Farmer Jaffe Weising Law Firm. I do a lot of data entry and scanning documents. I want to increase my working experience to make the company much better. At the end of the day, it's good to think of the day's work and to think about what I have accomplished. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. Choral Artists of Sarasota presents Patriotic Spectacular July 4th, 4.30 p.m. at First Church Sarasota. Choral Artists of Sarasota's annual Independence Day celebration features traditional patriotic favorites, plus a choral salute to the 100th anniversary of Leonard Bernstein and a tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. narrated by Nate Jacobs. Come for the concert and stay for the fireworks over Sarasota Bay. Tickets at choralartistsarasota.org or by calling 941-387-4900.
Did you know you could get life insurance for less than 32 cents a day? With guaranteed acceptance, whole life insurance through True Stage, you can get up to $25,000 in protection with a single phone call. True Stage can help free your family from immediate financial stress when you're gone. Utility bills, mortgages, car payments, those are a lot of things that can add up pretty fast. And even if you're on a fixed income, prices fit your budget, starting at less than 32 cents a day. Plus, your price will never increase and your benefit will never decrease. And with no medical tests or health questions, you cannot be turned down for any reason. Call 1-800-842-7189. Now, for a free, no obligation quote, True Stage offers plans to fit your budget. Help protect your family from immediate financial burdens after you're gone with guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance through True Stage. Call 1 800 842 7189 now. Did you know that a dirty CPAP system can make you sick? If you knew what could be growing in your mask and hose, it would keep you up at night. <gasps> now SoClean.com has released the world's first and only automated hands-free CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. With its patented design, SoClean is fast, effective, and hands-free, killing 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs. Try SoClean now through this special TV offer free for 30 days. Just call 800-604-0398. My health has improved. It's simple to use, and I'm not worried about infections. SoClean works on all CPAP machines and popular masks, destroying CPAP bacteria, viruses, and germs without the daily hassle of washing your system by hand. Just place your mask in, close the lid, and in just minutes, voila, sanitized and ready to use. Try SoClean risk-free for 30 days. This is a limited time offer. Call now, 800-604-0398, or visit SoClean.com today. Welcome back to ABC 7 News at 4. We have an important reminder about a popular Suncoast Park. A no-swim advisory for Bird Key Park is still in effect this afternoon. Sarasota County Health officials say there are harmful levels of bacteria in the water there, and you should not go in the water. The health department should get around another round of test results back later today, and as soon as that advisory is lifted, we will let you know. So who will take care of our parks? Sarasota County says it cannot afford to maintain five popular parks anymore and is now giving them back to the city of Sarasota. Those five parks are Arlington, Centennial, Ken Thompson Park, Payne Park Tennis Center, and the Sarasota Lawn Bowling Club. ABC 7's Taylor Torregano is live at Arlington Park and Aquatic Center with an update on what this means for you. Taylor. Good evening, Scott. The maintenance of these five parks put a $900,000 deficit in the city's budget. Now they're looking for ways to make up for it. Today, Mayor Liz Alpert tells me the city staff are trying to find extra cuts that could be made so the city doesn't have to increase property taxes. Last week, in a 3-2 to two vote, commissioners denied the increase, directing staff to try and find an alternative. The city parks director says maintaining these parks means 28 people now need to be hired. While some commissioners did vote in of a property tax increase. Others said that the increase in property values should have already covered these new maintenance costs. Hear more coming up at 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. I'm live at Arlington Park. Taylor Torgano, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, Taylor, thank you so much. Let's get to our newsroom now where Jacqueline is taking a look at what's trending right now. Jacqueline? Hey, Scott, one story that's trending, a welcome home that will forever be remembered. Take a look. This is dozens of people are sharing and retweeting this picture taken at Tampa International Airport. It shows an Army soldier, Austin Finch, proposing to his fiance. Many passengers waited, watched, and cheered while she's happily said yes. The couple got engaged in the main terminal last night. Best of luck to that new couple, and thank you for your service, Austin. Also, check out this new observation deck that has people literally freaking out. The glass deck and its connecting bridge is now open in southern China. The views are stunning, but some people are having a hard time handling the height. The deck is 662 feet high and suspended over a valley and a massive waterfall. The Skywalk is considered to be the world's biggest and highest glass construction. Well, life is finally good again if you're an L.A. Lakers fan. Cleveland is no longer the home of NBA superstar LeBron James. We posted this article on our Facebook page about LeBron's newest contract,
contract with the LA Lakers. Fans are already talking about a title after hearing the news that James agreed to a four year $150 million deal. It's also now a whole lot more expensive to be a Lakers fan. Before the announcement on StubHub, season tickets started at 3500 bucks. They now start at six grand. Now we want to know what you think about that new trade over to the LA Lakers from Cleveland Cavaliers for LeBron James. Head over to our Facebook page and let us know what your thoughts are. Well, let's send it back to Bob with a look at our first alert forecast. Bob? You know what my thoughts are. He has a lot of competition out there in the Western Conference. We'll see how it goes, but uh, good luck to uh, LeBron out there. I feel bad for Cleveland. Uh, here's what's going on right now. Casey Key webcam showing flat, calm conditions out there to start the morning off. Once in a while, an isolated shower or two kind of popping up out there well out in the Gulf of Mexico. That area of low pressure, which brought us the heavy rainfall on Saturday, has now moved well to the west and north of us. Really cleared things out on Sunday, too. And we're looking at just limited shower activity. You can see that area spinning right there. That's the low that brought us the rain on Saturday and a little bit on Sunday. Not much. Some drier air has now slipped in across the Sun Coast and that is limiting our afternoon and evening thunderstorm pattern. Once again, we have a few out there obviously, but they're not sticking around as long and you can see the East Coast breeze not very active this afternoon. A few isolated cells uh, moving off to the west at this time and uh, really the big storm that was near Venice just about an hour ago has since moved on. Another one is starting to uh, generate. This is going to have some lightning here in the next uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, just south of Parish. Uh, you can see the rain that was over Terra heading off toward Bradenton is now again moved on. This one, again, the height of it is getting up to 30,000 feet, and it looks as though, uh, as I said, lightning, a real possibility, as we saw with the one cell down in South Sarasota County just about an hour ago. But uh, for the most part, it, it remains relatively quiet. Let's hope it stays that way for the July 4th weekend, or the uh, July 4th celebration. We just had the weekend as far as the Wednesday goes, and you can see uh, we'll see temperatures staying pretty warm because of the lack of rain. It's not going to cool things down all that much uh, through this evening. 81 degrees at 11 o'clock. It'll feel like about 90 degrees. And as far as the future cast goes, you can see the east coast and west coast meeting there and then moving off toward the west. So we're going to keep a slight chance for a few isolated showers in through this evening across the west coast of Florida. Then we'll see mostly fair skies overnight. And then for Tuesday, we'll start off with sunshine and plenty of it and temperatures will respond. We'll have highs tomorrow right around 90 degrees uh, with a chance for more of those afternoon and evening storms. A little bit better chance tomorrow as the atmosphere will moisten up somewhat but still not the coverage you would normally expect for this time of year and those should be quickly over by eight o'clock tomorrow evening. So Wednesday then is the big day. Obviously uh, we're looking for scattered showers and storms in the forecast. Hopefully most of them will be over by the time we have the fireworks display. We have fireworks tomorrow night at uh, Nathan Benderson Park too. So they're happening. It seems like every night now up until the 4th of July, 90 degrees in Jacksonville. It's 93 in Orlando, 89 in Sarasota. Temperatures uh, where it's rained just a little bit cooler now at Cortez uh, near the water where the water temperature is 86, cooler 85 degrees, 93 though in Mayaca City, Northport at 93. Sunshine and the temperature 89, the heat index. Well, there it is 100 degrees and west to southwest winds at 10. The pressure 30 inches even. Forecast tomorrow calling for sunshine to start the day. Heat index once again up to 100 and we'll have some showers in the late afternoon and evening scattered about. As I mentioned, not a widespread event elsewhere across the U.S. You don't see many storms and that means it's hot, really hot across the U.S. as a result of a big area of high pressure which is dom dominating the weather. High fire danger there in uh, Colorado. We have excessive heat over the northeast. Uh, heat warning there. Also severe thunderstorm warning in effect for those folks. For boaters tomorrow, looks to be good out there. Winds will be out of the east, turning to the north, then the northwest, 5 to 10 knots. Seas will be 1 to 2 feet with a light chop on the bays and in the waters. The seven-day forecast and just a 40% chance for scattered storms on July 4th. That looks good. Uh, 40 on Thursday. And we're looking at typical scattered showers and storms riding in through Monday Stay cool out there. That's the big deal as far as that goes. Also, stay with your ABC 7 weather app throughout the holiday and you can monitor the storms as they move about and kind of keep an eye on what's happening. We'll also alert you with our special engage videos that kind of gives you an idea as to what may be happening as far as severe weather goes or the potential for tropical systems. You can also track those. Thankfully, there's nothing around, Scott, as far as the tropics are concerned. We like to hear that. That's well, right. while it's hot and sunny here on the Sun Coast, parts of Iowa are underwater. Look at this video of uh, powerful storms pounded Des Moines area yesterday. The torrential rain and flash flooding so severe, police say a 65 year old man was swept away by the floodwaters. He was later found dead. Several businesses were also flooded. Authorities there reminding people to turn around and don't drown. And that's something we can all, that's advice we can all use because we get this kind of 
flash flooding on occasion here, don't we, Bob? We do, but the thing is, is that six inches of water, it's all it takes is to knock someone off their feet and cause them to slip and fall and possibly get carried away. And it takes about a foot of water, uh, just a foot, to move a car and start to float it. And obviously, uh, that can be a big concern when you're driving. Absolutely. Well, as temperatures heat up across the country, some people are getting creative on ways to beat the heat. Many people are trying to get away from the sun by going underground at the Indian Echo Caverns in Pennsylvania. The average year-round temperature inside those caves, a cool, refreshing 52 degrees. Meanwhile, more than 100 million Americans have been exposed to dangerous heat in other parts of the east. A thermo imaging camera measured heat up to 120 degrees on hot concrete. And, uh, you know, Bob, it's a little different up there with when you, the, these temperatures get into the 90s and close to 100 because not all homes have air conditioning up there, and some people just don't aren't equipped. Yeah, I know. I know I didn't when we were in Toledo. That's where I stayed. And, and speaking of those caves, there's a lot of caves up in Michigan and in Kansas City. My brother worked for a, a concessionaire basically and they kept all the candy bars in the caves and all the food obviously because they had to worry about refrigeration. I went in there a couple of times. It was 55 degrees and outside it was 100 degrees. So those are nice and refreshing, but there's not enough room. For all the folks out there, and yeah. one thing they don't get is those afternoon storms to cool yeah. them down either. Just yeah. oppressive heat day after day. Okay, right. Bob, thank you. you Coming up in your new news at four, the confession by Facebook. What the social media giant is telling Congress it did with your personal information. Plus, out with the new, in with the old. Inside the Best Buy decision to go old school with the tunes. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. During the past 10 years, Tidewell Hospice volunteers have provided more than 1 million hours of service. They sit with patients, giving caregivers a break. They work in offices. They take their furry friends on pet therapy visits. They even clown around. Every task performed by a volunteer makes a difference in the lives of our patients and their families. Join Tidewell's volunteer team. They're truly one in a million. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. The ABC7 First Alert weather app just got even better. It's easy to use once you download it. First, tell the app to follow you so you get alerts pinpointed to exactly where you are. Then customize your settings with all the places you go, from the beach to grandmother's house. Get accurate alerts for everyone you care about. You can even pick which weather alerts and categories you want and what they sound like. More ways to customize and more ways to keep your family safe. Download the ABC7 First Alert weather app today. Soldiers in the Army National Guard live up to a set of time-honored principles. I will always place the nation first. They stand ready to respond to any crisis. I will never accept defeat. They serve in their communities as citizens and as soldiers. I will never quit. They train part-time to be ready to serve at all times. I will never leave a fallen comrade. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. Pick me, me, me. Oh, come on, man. Tech lab. Oh, man, I love technology. Hey, yo, check out my new phone. Look at this right here. For years, the DeSoto Club has needed improvements. Join me and Boys and Girls Club of Manatee County as we raise money to build a brand new facility. It will be bigger and better, just like it was 40 years ago when I attended. Invest in kids, build great futures. Some breaking news just into our ABC 7 newsroom. The Minnesota grandma charged with murdering a Bradenton woman to assume her identity 
will face the death penalty if convicted. The state attorney for the 20th Judicial Circuit, that's out of Fort Myers, announced just moments ago its intent to seek the death penalty for 56-year-old Lois Reese. She's charged with the shooting death of Pamela Hutchinson in Fort Myers Beach. Prosecutors say Reese killed Hutchinson, stole her credit cards and vehicle, and then fled to Texas. Reese is also suspected in the shooting death of her husband in Minnesota. She's expected in court on July 11th for a case hearing. In consumer news, a story that may impact your personal information. Facebook is now admitting that dozens of companies were able to get special access to data on millions of users. This all happening months after it was supposed to start restricting that data in 2015. In a new report to Congress, the social network says it offered companies the deals so they could, quote, come into compliance with the new policy. The National Security Agency says it's deleting hundreds of millions of phone records collected since 2015. They're called CDRs, and they detail phone calls, but not their content. NSA says it's deleting the files because they aren't authorized to have some of them. The problem is the agency doesn't know which ones those are, so all of the files have to go. That surveillance is allowed under the Freedom Act, which passed in 2015 after the Patriot Act had expired. This is another sign of the times. Best Buy no longer selling CDs. That decision could be due to a drop in sales. USA Today reports Best Buy's entertainment sales dropped almost 14 percent during its 2017 fiscal year. But even though you can't get CDs there, Best Buy plans to keep selling vinyl records. Remember those for the next two years. Here's Bob with more on our forecast. That's good to know. Here's what's happening with our weather. Good to know is that we're not looking at a lot of heavy storms around right now. Things are fairly quiet. You can see had some big storms earlier just to the east of Venice. Those have since moved on for the most part. And uh, some showers up near Parrish. Again, uh, moving toward I-75, uh, looking to be some heavy rainfall there. A generally fair sky, though, if your beach walk forecast is looking pretty good. A 20% chance for an isolated shower or two. Should be a nice sunset, too. West winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And it looks like sunset right at 829. This photo by Fred Seeger. Scott, back to you. Bob, thank you. We're just getting started. Jacqueline is in the newsroom again with a quick look at just some of the stories we're working on for you tonight. Jacqueline. Scott, people are gearing up for the 4th of July, but Florida state law only allows safe devices like sparklers. Coming up at 5, hear from Sarasota Fire Chief about the fireworks safety and how you can have fun this holiday. And at 6, the Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix Festival is wrapped up. We'll take a look at just how many people packed Lido Beach for the annual races. And tonight at 7, the Sarasota County School Board and Sheriff have agreed to share the cost of resource deputies for the upcoming school years. Will they be able to get the deputies? deputies put in place in time. Those stories and more coming up in 30 minutes. Scott, back to you. Jacqueline, thank you. And thank you for joining us on this first edition of ABC 7 News at 4. We'll see you back here at 5 o'clock.